gonna say that one. I'm a Valentine, yeah, I will hum me that. You won't actually hecking, mick hecking, fricking, goshing, hecking gosh. Elise. I lit. Okay, got up. I was like, you know what? I gotta get the hell up. Get the hell out so I can get to work. One fucking time, right? So, I'm like, okay, cool. Call my Uber about 8 o'clock. I actually called it first at 7.55. And the guy was three minutes away. And I was like, shit, I'm not ready. I don't even got a wig on. My face is not washed. I'm not dressed at all. I'm dressed now. But I wasn't dressed at the time. So, I was like, shit, I got to cancel this. That happened twice. I was like, all right, let me get one that's just a little bit further away. That way, by the time that they get here, I'm perfect. And it's like the perfect timing. So, it's like, they'll get here at 8.15. I'll be where I need to be at like 8.22 and then walk to where I actually need to be at and I'll be in there before 8.30, which is great, which is what I like did this for. Um, So cool. Call the normal Uber. Like I said, they were not, they were too close, right? So I'm like, cool, let me get one farther away. Uber Black, they gave me like some 40% 40, 40 discount this week, I guess, or just today, the past two days, whatever. Um, So I got one yesterday because it was literally cheaper than the normal Uber. And it was nice. And um, yeah, so did that today as well with that same 40% off. And I was like, okay, you know, it costed $2 more than the other one. But I was like, you know what? Um, it's going to be a great experience. And it's a little bit further away. So this guy who, I don't know who the hell, I don't know. It just doesn't, he doesn't have like, I just, mm, you know, sometimes you just look at the profile photo. You're like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, sir. You're not, mm, -mm. nope. And also I'm like, I don't have the capacity to like deal with sexual harassment this morning. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't have the capacity to like, stomach like that type of shit right now i just don't feel like it. i don't i'm not in the mood you know um anyways so i'm like cool like whatever let me call the uber black so cool i get one driver cool um kanan cool i'm like cool that's a good name you know or i call it kanan but it's kanan i guess i think american way of saying it is kanan i mean yeah kanan anyways i'm like cool that's a good name you know it's about to be uber black it's gonna be great they're gonna open the door for me absolutely amazing i absolutely love it let's go so I'm like, cool, and it's the perfect amount of time, great, cool. Then I look down and it says they canceled. And then the thing is going, it's like trying to get me another driver and it's like stuck on this one person that says it's 22 minutes away. So I'm like, let me cancel, get the regular Uber and um, what's it called? Freaking one minute away, literally like picks it up again. I'm like, no, I don't want you to drive me, you freaking creepy looking dude, no. So um, I, <laughs> I, uh, Go back to Uber Black, because it's still like not very much more expensive. Like it's the amount that I would spend on a normal day to get to work. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's try this again. So the same person picks it up. The person that picked it up that time and they canceled it, they pick it up. Tell me why they get over here. It says that they're two minutes away. Then it says that they're one minute away. And they're at like this same spot, this, this little loop. I'm like, what is this little loop? Like, why is that? What is that? I was just looking at him to be there for like five minutes. I'm like, what's going on with this guy? Is he having like a heart attack? I was literally over here like, is he having a heart attack? Getting here where he's like trying to make his bread. But he's like, I was conjuring up stories in my brain. I was like, am I gonna have to help this man? I'm gonna be late to work, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is what I was thinking. I realized he's at the fucking car wash. He is at the... <laughs> He's at the car wash. This man decided to accept an Uber and then go to the car wash. I'm supposed to be at work now, actually. Right now, as I speak to you, in my house, I'm supposed to be at work right now. I have been late so many times the past week, past two weeks, and uh, it's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, thankfully, my manager has a lot of grace with lateness. But still, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm supposed to be there a certain time. Let's get there at that time. But it's like today was one of those days where it's like, there's been a lot of days where it's like very preventable. And of course today, in a way it was preventable. But when I tell you like, I thought that I had it, I thought it was like Gucci, I thought it was like, you know, like I called it in that perfect time span, you know? With with even <laughs> with how far away it said that dude was at first, it was like perfect. But then now, bro literally went to the car wash on my time thinking, you know what, when I'm done, I'm still about, still about to get paid. Bro, you're foul as fuck for that. And I still waited because I was like, you know what? It might be faster for him to get out his stupid ass car wash and then come scoop me and then me give you a one star ass review. The only time, like I literally have never given a one star review. The only time I gave like a five star review was like, I think it was the one guy that said that he, um, he had a perfect score. And then because 
someone saw that they literally like brought his score down by saying oh i'm gonna give you one star to like bring it down and make it not perfect and then he, that one guy really did give him one star not because he was a bad driver but because he just wanted to bring him down isn't that crazy i think that's so insane devil fucking tries it always um i think i'm sorry not to curse did i already curse i don't know it doesn't matter whatever anyways so <sighs> yin and yang because i put out an absolutely amazing song an absolutely amazing song last night and i feel like this is the yin to the yang because that shit is so good it's like so fire it's fire yes 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 oh you know what y'all remember that thing i said last time when i was late like when you're late you're supposed to bring something so i made all these things these things well the candy packs maybe i should give them these the thing about like you're not supposed to come empty-handed when you're late i don't know i kind of wanted to give these out to my fans like not my fans but when i perform i was like should i just give these out but it's okay i can make another one make another one it's okay it's okay but i sent this text to two of my managers i was like i can't make this up bro has been at the car wash for the past five minutes it's just a, it's just fucking like bro it just makes me look so shitty you know and I don't like that because I'm, like, trying. You know what I mean? Like, I'm actually trying. Like, yes, this is a job. Yes, I get it, whatever. But for me, like, I really like my coworkers. I really respect my coworkers and, like, just have love for them. So, like, either way, who wants to be looked down on? You know what I'm saying? Like, a bitch can't be on time. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know? Ugh. Also, what a bitch. Like, why would you accept some shit and go to the fucking car wash? I'm like, maybe he didn't know he accepted it again. But maybe you give him the benefit of the doubt because he did cancel at first. But like, how did you, like, there's buttons. Like, how did you not, <laughs> bro? Like, you really were being way too optimistic with your time. Like, I know I'd be op optimistic with my time, but you're playing with somebody else's time, and they're gonna have to pay for it, bro. What's wrong with you? If I if I call the Uber at eight o'clock, that most likely means, and it's like literally five minutes away. Don't you think that I probably have to be there at eight thirty? Eight thirty? Like. Not fucking nine. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? The fuck is actually wrong with you? Like, I can't actually fucking believe you right now. For real. Um. So, yeah. Uber horror story for one time. Let's hope I don't get freaking fired over it. I hope they're not like, you know what, Alma? You're just so freaking late all the time. And I know that you literally do everything here. And, like, you're, like, freaking great. But, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. You're late. So, that sucks ass. And therefore, we're gonna have to let you go. Like, that would suck ass, you know? Suck ass. Um, also, today is Wednesday, but tomorrow I have like this mock, like an interview of like me working somewhere. They're gonna have me actually work though. Six to eight, which I probably should save this damn all black outfit. <laughs> Bro, it's not all black. I'm tripping. I am actually, my bad, God. I'm actually tripping on accident. This, like, this outfit would have worked over there though so maybe i have the time to take it off now uh -huh. no i have another uber which this person has like less experience i don't know when i see the amounts of trips they have i'm like okay cool they're not crazy because they're still here you know they can't be that insane <laughs> you know like they can't hurt because they're still here but whenever they're like new and they have like two trips, i'm like I'm, like, I'm not trying to find out what's wrong. I'm not trying to be the one to figure out that you're some crazy psycho. Like, no. No. Also, sometimes when dudes, like, will drop me off, I'm just like, ugh. I'm like, don't, don't say my dress. <laughs> So I made the, la the last minute decision to go to release therapy tonight. Um, I like made a video, just dance two videos, dancing to my latest songs out. And um, I was like, man, should I go to the release therapy tonight? Cause I'm like, when else will I, will I get a chance? I don't know what my schedule is going to look like for real coming up soon. And uh, when I was like, just go, just go. So I'm just like, you know what, heck it, let's go. And I was like, maybe I won't perform. Maybe I'll just watch. And I'm like, well, why would you pass up the opportunity to perform? Even if I don't perform my new songs, I could still like, you know, perform a poem, something, and just be on stage and like put myself out there a little bit and uh, show what I'm doing, promote something, and just, you know, connect with the audience for real. 
um, be in front of an audience and you know I could even even if I am performing I could just be, let them know like yo you know both of these literally came out yesterday and Monday so I've been listening to them like but this is my first time really performing them at all and uh you know so if I'm messing up I hope that y'all just feel vibes we can just vibe out you know that's I think <laughs> my music rush real quick and yeah we're out What's up, y'all? So I'm back. Also, Alma, if you did not edit out the sound from those clips, please go back and edit those out before you get copyrighted. Let's not get, let's not get the possibility of making money from YouTube get snatched up because of that. I'm about to eat a muffin. I've had so much sugar today, um, but I'm still gonna eat this muffin because it's delicious and it's what I have. Um, anyways, so I, what is it called? Look at this muffin. It doesn't have the like sugar crust on top, but it's really good still. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, that was great. So I sent Drew the wrong file or a bad file, I guess, but he very kindly was like, you know, hey, like this is messed up. Um, But he does have like my other songs. And I'm like, how lit is it that he has my songs? Like that's so crazy. Drew has my songs already because I've performed for before. So that's beautiful. Anyways. So he gave me the option of using one of those. So chose Jasmine T. Try my best because I was unprepared for that one. And uh tried to vocalize a little bit. It wasn't really happening for real, but Giannis was still supportive. And at a certain point, I felt like disappointment in the room early on in the song. And um, I don't know, I just kind of closed my eyes and just kept singing. And um, yeah, but you know what? It made me think, it made me think I want to be prepared to the point where I could do my whole song without a backup. Any of my songs that, any songs that I'm going to perform, I should be able to do all of them all the way through, no backup, every single word, every single note, and I should be able to be in the right key every single time, period, period. I thought I saw something move. <laughs> it's 12 p.m. 12. But yeah, I need to get myself to that point. Also, it was Kayla's birthday. Shout out Kayla. And there was a point where he's there like talking and like something that it made me think about was that we as humans, we have free will, right? We have free will. So especially when it comes to like extracurricular type things, like an event or something that you're doing for fun, you always have the ability to leave when you don't feel entertained or you feel like, you know, there's nothing for you here or whatever, but you also have that option to stay. And when you do stay, that is your choice. And there's a reason for that, right? And for people to be sitting there listening to him speak and he was really just speaking you know it was just like i don't know i just feel like it said something i feel like it says something about when you support someone when you choose to support something and it's not like uh it's less about a whole huge it's not it's not about i think grandstanding is the right word it's not about grandstanding support is not always in like standing up and yelling and raging against something it's not always like that sometimes it's literally just hey you know what it's, it's a special day for this man that I want to see do well. Or even just in this moment, I just want to see him happy. I know it would make him happy to have, you know, people in here listening. Or I really like this show, I want to keep it going. Or like, I don't know, just an appreciation of the arts, an appreciation, I just want to show appreciation here. Or I want to receive, or I want to hear what he has to say, I'm curious. Like, it's just something like that, that is support, you know? Like, it's not only just a, I sent you money or, um, you know, I'm financing you, funding you. It's not always that, it's not always like, Excuse me, it's not always in an affirmation. Like sometimes it's in like just being there to listen because that is what is needed in this moment. Like, and I just thought that was really interesting. Like I thought it was very interesting because every one of us could have chosen to be like, all right, well, I'm out, cool. But like, no, we wanted to be there. We chose to stay there. And um, it was just cool. Like there was, he was thanking his friends and it was just like, wow. Like he was giving people flowers with the time that he had on stage. And I was like, I respect that. And um, another thing, um, this guy got up there and first he was rapping. When I tell you, mm, listen to me, listen to me. When I tell you I was shown what level that I need to reach with my performance, like there's no excuse, Alma. For real, for real, for real, for, 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 for Like if I'm being for real, for real, I need to put time and effort into getting my tone right. Always, period. Like, especially when it's in person. It's like the beauty about technology, 
auto tune exists. I've gotten to this point with my mixing where I'm like, yo, shit, like the songs I made this week have been insane. My music's about to go crazy. <laughs> I can just tell. Even my live performance, like this dude was rapping so perfectly. Like when I say perfect, I mean tone, timing, pace, one beat, like to the max. It's perfect. And then he got up there with Kay and was playing the saxophone. I was like, yo. And he's from Virginia too. I'm like, bro, come on now. I gotta get right, okay? Cause I'm from Richmond and I, and I can't be repping the set incorrectly. You know what I'm saying? So let me get my ass together, you know? And I, I need to go back next week, actually. Um, I'm trying to see what's happening with this second job situation. I really am not too sure. As far as the studio, there might be a chance that I'll get a whole house to rent, which is crazy. And um, we'll see, we'll honestly see. Um, I honestly don't know, but all I'll say is I know that God's plan is better than my plan, and I'm gonna surrender to that one. On that, I'm gonna, oh no. good night, y'all. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.